No pirates allowed. <laughs> oh, make sure you like and be our friend. <laughs> but I love pirate stories. Me too. Look at those little bitty eyes. Ships ahoy! So at Sea Breezy Library, things are just right. Look, look, lovers were cozy. The sky was bright blue when shimmer me tempers through the sea breezy door storm Big Pirate Pete and his parrot. Igor, where be the treasure? X marks the spot. We'll dig up the loot and steal all that you got. Squawk, squawk, said Igor. Igor squawked as Pete muttered, Arr, arr, arr. Then Pete let loose with a scary salvar. Um, we're just doing our homework in the library. We don't know what you're talking about. Um, and you're a pirate? A real pirate? You're sure you're not doing TikTok? Chills ran down the spine as those readers all shook. They hid behind bookshelves but ventured a look. And what was that? That odor? Disgusting! Fewy, fewy, ooey! Oh, but no one at CB's knew. Library knew what to do. What should we do? Except... Library Lou dashed over to see what was all the unruly commotion could be. May I help you? Lou asked with a pinch of a frown. May I help you? This is library. So shh, quiet down, mister, with your parrot on your shoulder and your, your big pirate hat and your secret map. Arr, big Pete thundered. Don't waste my wit, my day. Walk the plank, saucy lass, or show me the way, he said. At sea breezy thin, you could hear a pin drop. All that tough ruffian talk and squawk stop. For library, Lou looked at Pete right in the eye. Oh, yeah? And Pete stood his ground with a snarl. Oh, my. Minute by minute, their tempers both flared as they stood head to head. And doggy, I dared... I dog you, I dare you. Me too. You and your parrot and your treasure map. And you and your quiet library. Unless you be quiet and listen up. No pirates allowed, said Library Lou. You got that? Squawk, squawk, Igor squawked. With a blow-me-down glare, then Library Lou boldly added, So there. Arr, arr. Now, what is this treasure map? Lou asked. Ah, yes, the treasure is here. But first I must ask if you and your bitty a wee smallish task. Go home, take a bath, change your underwear too. I mean, my gosh. Then come back tomorrow, said Library Lou. Then maybe I'll help you out. You're just kind of just... Oh. <coughs> Arr. A landlubber telling Big Pete what to do. But she said there'd be treasure. Sink me, tis true. Oh, I've got to take a, a bash, Pinky, as you say. I've been at the sea for a long time, and, you know, I don't like jumping in the sea ocean. There's crocodiles there. Um, like I said, the treasure is here, and I can help you, because that's what I do. But, um, you know. So, that night, Pete scrubbed 13 layers of dirt <laughs> and decided to clean his underwear. It couldn't hurt. Squawking Eager got a good scrubbing, too. Swish, swish through the sea, sailed their funky P.U., then later they dreamed of a treasure or two. Come on, bubble bath time. Scrub-a-dub-dub, said the pirate, as a rub-a-rub-rub. Well, I guess, I guess, ooh, gosh, I can smell my own uh, underpits here. Wow. Yes, bubble, bubbles, bubbles. Squawk a walk. The next day they burst through the library door with fresh soapy scent, but as loud as before. Oh, hello, everybody. Mateys, your manner, said Library Lou. Now. Come follow me. We have much to do. Aye. Big Pete grabbed his picks and axe and his shovel. But Liber Lou said, don't go through the trouble. But Lassie, the loot. Lou said, not yet. The loot, the loot, the treasure. That's why I'm here. I'm a pirate. Treasure. You know, that's what we do. We dig golden treasure. Look how handsome I am today. Did you notice? You didn't even give me a compliment or anything. I mean, look how dashy me and my parrot are. My parrot. Got that, lady? First, ahoy to these letters, this fine alphabet. Letters, Pete scout. There be more than acts, Lou spread them about. Pete, Big Pete looked perplexed. Blimey, cried Big Pete. A code of old, a secret one. Aye, to find the sweet gold. A code, a code, a code. 
That's a lot of letters. Yeah, it's a bushel of letters, mister. R, you say? It's a fine alphabet. I know my A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Library Lou grinned a witty grin. Brilliant, she cried. Now time to begin. Here they are, all of them. Pleased to meet you. Isn't this fun, said Library Lou. Look at all the letters on the board. Fun, Big P sneered. Fun. It'd be torture, no less. Me rather be kissing a fat treasure chest. So many letters. Big P got confused. W's, H's, S's, and Q's. Someone called vowels. A-E-I-O-U's. Oh, vowels. Mm, I wasn't so good in my English class or my math class. Uh, your history class or science class. Soon Lou took some letters and mixed them about. Look, exclaimed Lou. Words to sound out. Now there is a stack you may take home with you. Then come back tomorrow, said Library Lou. I've got to study. I've got to read. I've got to study. Come back tomorrow, Library Lou said. She's a demanding lass, isn't she, parrot? Squawk, squawk, I'm just a parrot. But she looks like she knows what she's doing. She's Library Lou. All right, matey, I've cleaned for her. I've got to study for her. Mm. Up on the poop deck, Pete practiced that night. He practiced each word until he got each word right. Swashbuckling, buccaneer, thingamajig. <laughs> Eager, he bragged. We'll hold riches untold, cause us, we're working our glutens for gold. And night after night, Lou piled a new stack. Soon, Big Pete was spreading, not small words, but big words. Oh, swashbuckling, buccaneer, thingamajig, yeah. Thingamajig. Yeah, I'm I'm learning to read, parrot. Yeah, maybe you'll navigate us to the travel treasure one day. Yeah, treasure. Yep, this poop deck is fun reading. But I'm hungry. Do you got any crackers? I need a cracker or a sesame seed. I'll take anything. One day he barked at Lou. Do what you told you. You said you'd be helping me find that sweet gold. Correct, answered Lou. In a book, there's a clue. I've given you my help. It's now up to you. Pete stared at those books lined up on the shelf after shelf. A code, a clue? Arr, find me a shelf. There's lots of books to read, like Margaret Merlin's Journal, The Battle of the Black Witch by A.A. Banks. Oh, Margaret Merlin's Journal. Those are good action-adventure books. And Skip Boots' Big Safari Adventure are fun. Maybe he just might. The code being a rhyme. He loved Mother Goose, Dr. Seuss, House of Blime. They tickled me fancy, but no secret code. A vast easy readers he snatched frog and toad. Oh, what about Jack the Bear and Golden Hair? Or Bloober Goober the Monster in My Closet by Sarbert Sneakies? Yeah, our adventures of Mooch the Pooch. Day after day he went back, and night after night he piled high a new stack. He found books called Classics, Great Tales of the Sea. Blimey, cried Pete. There's where the clue be, Treasure Island. Me like it, but no clue to be found. Stumped Pete scarred each shelf up and down. I love Skip Boots' Big Safari Adventure, squawked Igor. Arr, arr, arr. Yeah, Skip Boots' Big Safari Adventure is really great by Sir Herbert Sneakers. Yeah, I love Pirate and Treasure. I hope we find the clues. Yeah. So, Gangway, the nonfiction, that's where she be. Nonfiction, please. Soon, luscious loot, fancy free of the sea. Oh, yeah. Those fact factual books, but... Big Pete came to love. He read about things he's never heard of. Stink bugs and baseball and surfing in Mars. Dinosaurs, mummies, electric guitars. Pete's picks and axe and his shove got dusty. A pirate's way. Big Pete got a mite rusty. Hmm. I did enjoy Margaret Merlin's journal, The Battle of the Black Witch. Now that wizard book series is excellent. Yeah, and book two is Margaret Merlin's journal, the Unleashing the Dark Thing. And... Book three, Margaret Merlin's journal, The Mask of the Parallel World by A. Banks. Amazing. Yeah. Oh, look at this one. Margaret Merlin's journal, The Quest for the Golden Key by A. Banks. Amazing. Arr, arr. Now, Pete wasn't, wasn't a pirate just dreaming of loot, but a reader he was and a good one to boot. When one book was finished, when one was done, Pete picked up another one. Oh, reading was such fun. Oh, I love reading. Yes, indeed. He read and read and read and read. Then suddenly one night, Pete popped up in bed. Arr, matey. Arr. Yeah, Pete, did you get the clue? Arr, yes. Look at me. I... 
The next day at Seabreezy Library, things were just right. Book lovers were cozy, the sky was blue bright, and but Big Pete and Big Pete and Eager tiptoed through the door and spied Library Lou in an aisle 404. They both gave her hugs, each kissed you. We've come to thank you, Miss Library Lou, cause now we know books be the treasure. Shucks, whispered Lou, it's been my pleasure. Pirates aloud. Now Library Lou had a big smile and a big proud is hanging on the sign that says Pirates Aloud. <laughs> So cute, yeah. Arr, matey, subscribe. Arr.